Hi everyone. Today we'll be working on the center section of the drone's wing. To pull the wires through the wing, I use a thin carbon tube with a wire attached to it. First, I pull the wires for the servos that control the elevens. I have two servos per wing, each with its own dedicated line. Redundancy won't hurt, since the elevon is the drone's only control surface. I label the wires with self-adhesive tags on both sides of the wing. All markings are recorded in the wiring diagram to avoid any confusion later on. Next, I pull the power and control wires for the vertical takeoff and landing motors. I had planned the theoretical possibility of routing the wires, but didn't think through the practical side very well, so I had to spend some time on it. On the side where the motor arms are attached, I solder two MT60 connectors for each wing. I press the assembled connectors into the prepared mounting slots in the wing. On the fuselage side, I'll use a single connector for all the wires. To make future maintenance easier, I modeled a holder for this connector and printed it on a 3D printer. I solder all the wires to the connector one by one, according to my wiring diagram. While soldering the connector for the second wing, I forgot to install the plastic holder. My soldering skills aren't that great, so instead of desoldering everything, I solved it using a small saw and dichloromethane. I positioned the motor arms relative to the fuselage so that they don't shift the theoretical center of gravity of the model. The CG should be located at one quarter of the wing's mean aerodynamic cord from its leading edge. The arms are made from carbon tubes, with the motors mounted to them using 3D printed brackets. Using printed jigs, I drill holes in the tubes. These are needed to secure the motor to the tube and the tube to the wing, preventing rotation and axial movement. Next comes mounting the ESC on the tube at a distance that ensures airflow from the propeller. I decided to run part of the wiring inside the tube. First, I solder three power leads from the motor to the ESC. On the other side of the ESC, I solder the power wires and the signal wire according to the board markings. 
To stabilize ESC power and protect it from voltage spikes, I solder a capacitor. To precisely position the matching hole in the wing, I made several variants of jigs. However, for various reasons they still didn't provide the required accuracy in horizontally aligning the motor. So I decided to align the motors directly on the assembled structure and open additional holes. Fortunately, the tube length allowed for this. The last step is preparing the connectors for the servo leads on the Elevon side. I used standard connectors from what I had available. 